for good friends only. Alright, it's sleaze, it's monastery crushing. This will be the first of three parts. First part outside, second part inside the church, third part outside with the RPG guys. Alright, a little bit of background here on the two players. Hush, Destroyer. Hush is going after his star, he needed two maps, Syria and this one. We had completed Syria prior to this. Syria was the first time we had played together, and they were primarily competitive players. Um, I'm not using my mic. Um, so we're communicating with text in between. When you think about Monastery, think about it in stages for the different parts. So this is stage one of part one. And you, you don't want to get downed like that, but uh, I've got the weapon you want, which is the M9. And you're going to see me press with it here in order to kill the easy NPC on the left side. And I'm doing that because I want to cut it down to a single enemy that the three of us can take care of in order to end the first stage. Now here you'll see me semi-auto shoot it or single shot the M9 in order to help get the helmet off. And then it's the uh, buddy that gets in there for the melee. This is the beginning of part two, and what I'm thinking is, let me get a long rifle, let me get a pistol, let me get a grenade, and let me get hauled ass back to the original spawn point where you were tied up to fight stage two out of that section. Now here, getting choked, I'm not too worried about it because when we played Syria, both these players were very robust about helping you if you were down or getting chokers off of you, so uh, not too worried about it. Also, Hush gets the benefit from helping with the choker because he picks up the Let Him Go medal. And if you're going after a kickback like Army 3 that takes 10 medals to get, well, uh, why not pick up easy three medals by helping the chokers? Now here you see us doing some, you know, real fundamental co-op 101 kind of stuff, which is to use... Uh, this arched tunnel or this arched corridor in order to force the NPCs to come through it and get close to us where I mean come on this isn't even fair they, don't, they have no chance here it's a slaughter okay um, and it's good for that because you can control them easier but it's also good because you're close to each other and if somebody goes down you can revive them if they get choked you can help them with the choker um, and then also they're bringing the weapons to you so I mean the weapons are right at your feet now right here watch this Okay. Uh, shotgunner guy comes in, but watch the next enemy that rushes in here. Okay, I can hear him. It's a choker, and they shoot him. That's a cardinal sin. Let somebody get choked and pick up the free metal. Let him go. Okay, now here, that's why I'm pressing forward. I want to get across the message, because I was not on mic, that, hey, let the chokers come in. Let them choke somebody. Let somebody get the free medals. Let's fill up these kickbacks. Um, and so they weren't really getting the message. Um... And so that's why you kind of see me playing in this weird way where I'm pressing forward. Normally I would never uh, go into the tunnel or beyond the tunnel, but I was trying to get the message across by purposely getting choked a second time so that they would have an inner dialogue with themselves saying, Oh my god, he, he got choked a second time, there's got to be reason for that. And well, yeah, the reason is that we're trying to pick up free easy medals. Come on, so up. we all have a kickback. I mean, we all have army of three. That's 30 medals that you need by the time you get to the rocket sequence. So let's pick up some easy ones. Here, good fun. Come on. Getting meleeed by an enemy and trying to pick up a grenade at the same time equals you lose. Um, and again, these guys were real great about helping you when you were down and, and also helping with Joker. So uh, I forced the issue there. Probably not good, but come on. Who doesn't like a little chaos? That's some spicy stuff. You like it, I like it, and that's just the way that it is. Um, here, same thing. Back in this original spawn point, trying to force him to come through the tunnel. Um, and you know, this isn't the first time we played Monastery. We played Syria, we played Monastery, we all died in this early sequence. So we reset the game. So when you die early on Monastery, you know, all the way up to the Cluster Bomb and Militia Guy, go ahead and feel free to reset it if you have to, um, to get the lives back. Okay, that's the end of Stage 2, funnel them through the tunnel. Stage 3 here, you got this Cluster Bomb jackass and you've got the Militia Guy, alright? Now, just the opposite. Don't get caught in the spawn area for this part. Get your ass out of there, get into the corridors, because if Cluster throws the Cluster into the original spawn area, good night. Okay. It's Mr. Sandman time and you're done. Now here the priority is stay in the corridors, don't go in the middle, and kill the Cluster guy first. So that's why you see me throwing grenades here and shooting at him. 
ideally all three players would do this at the same time from different angles because it confuses Cluster as to where he should throw the Cluster Bomb and sometimes he won't even throw it. So again here you see me moving in and putting, you know, pressing in on Cluster, trying to put damage, stick and move. Um, and second priority is going to be Militia Man and then you got to deal with all these people in between. Now here, he rushed in a little quicker and at the same time, uh, Militia Man kind of flanked and caught me in a tasty crossfire. But watch Hush right here, watch the maneuver he makes, which is a sharp and very abrupt, hard right turn in order to kind of confuse the NPC using a sprint. And that's good when you're being chased, when somebody's running up on you. It's also good when you're being shot in the back by either Militia Man or the Pack 80 Brute. If you make that sharp east-west movement and you sprint, you can get out of it and survive sometimes. Here, surprised by the NPC a little bit, also caught in a nice cloud of cluster bombs there, so uh, result, extra crispy black and white here. Um, when you get caught in a cluster cloud like that and you're in the middle of a cluster bomb, the only thing you can do is jump out of it like bunny hop, like this, uh, in order to try to confuse uh, the game into canceling the animation for you going down because you're in the animation of jumping. Um, here, just finally said, fuck it, <laughs> let me shoot a choker, I've got 1 out of 10 medals, we're not controlling chokers in any way, so I need metal. So that's why I'm pressing on Militia Man here for the, the Gatekeeper metal. Now watch what happens after I get choked here. It's pretty good. <laughs> All right, okay. Militia Man crumbles on screen about three or four seconds after he gets killed. So that was pretty tasty. Come on. Good stuff there. Now watch what we do here. They go forward. Where did I go? I went backwards. Okay. If all three players go backwards here, the two armored chokers get confused. And they cannot pass through the gate. There's an invisible wall where they'll just kind of stand in the middle of the gate. And you can choose to shoot their helmets off. If you're on mic, you can discuss with the other players. Like, who needs medals? Like, hey, I only got one medal. I need medal. So let me get the chokers. And then somebody volunteers to get choked. And then the player who needs the medals goes after the medals. And so you feel your kickback. So you have what you need when you get to the end. And you have to deal with all those rocket guys. All right. That's the end of part one. Over here. Part two here, we're going to get to the interior part of the church, and we'll talk about the stages in that part and kind of how to handle them. And there's some pretty wild action on the church part, um, a couple of deaths, so it, it should be pretty silly. So we'll catch on the second part here uh, for the interior of the church in just a bit. Yes. If Nate's alive, we've got to find him. I've got you six.